All right. So I've got enough content on my website, b o o k z dot media slash audio. I got enough. I got enough content there, and I'm still going to upload all my audio once a month. But I've done a done a, enough talking. It's time to get out there and get some work done. I got two years left that I want to really. Two or three years, I want to get something done. I want to pay off something. Pay off some stuff. And so I might even take a second job. Sad part is, you spend too much time with the unsaved, it messes with your mind, you know. You spend too much time with the unsaved, it messes with your mind. They, they really think you're crazy because you don't, because you don't run with them to the same excess of riot. And since I don't, I don't get pushed by peer pressure at all, they think I'm their enemy because I don't even talk their talk, I don't do their jokes, I don't do any of them. They need lights on their vest. Well, get out of the way, man. I can't go if you're not in, if you're in the way. I don't talk their talk. I don't laugh at their jokes. I don't go to their outings. I can't even talk to them. There's a there's a crescent moon with a star above it. Crescent. I studied that word, unfolded that word quite a bit. And now I forgot what it means. <laughs> if I think about it, I'll, it'll come back to memory. It's awful strange that all the cults use the crescent moon and a star. <clears throat> Why? It goes back to birthing, I think. I'm pretty sure it goes back to birthing, right? It really points to Jesus. Everything points to Jesus, but they twist it and make it look like it's uh, Mother Mary or something. The Ma, the creation. The creation instead of the creator. I've done such a deep dive into the secret codes and I've done such a deep dive into the Bible and uh, I've listened to all the the gurus and all the foolish talks and all that stuff and all the fake realities, you know, I've heard it all. And so, by the grace of God, praise God, hallelujah, he showed me that all this points to Jesus. Crescent, Crescent, C-R-E. I think it means the new birth. I'm pretty sure it means birthing. Notice the star above it. It's like the star is birthed out of it or something. Over there in Israel, the land is like the crescent something. At the land of Israel, it's like the crescent. It looks like a crescent, the birthing. But it's it's pointing to the fact that that crescent, that, that peak, right? You're moving to a higher ground. You're being birthed from glory to glory to from one state to the new state to the next state. If you do this long enough, you will become a master orator. But you've got you've to be serious about it. I might not speak grammatically correct or, you know, sound like some person on the stage, but... Uh, I've studied words enough. Uh, it's, it's funny how I studied math. I love. I will. I didn't like the language. And I studied math in school. After I got saved, started studying the Bible, and I slowly moved to words. You know, the Greek, the Hebrew, and all that stuff. The Phoenician, the etymology. 
so words became important more important than math and you have to use words to 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 this describe math right you have to use words to describe math. Every cognate has a meaning and it has a deeper truth. So every time you speak, you're speaking two or three different levels and don't even know what. Describe, scribble, to write. Types and shadows, description. Descript, off script. So everything is off the script of the Bible. And so it's from, D E means off or from. So descript, shun, description is off the script. Ion at the end of the words, you got the prefix and the postfix. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what it's called now. It's been so long since I talked about it. But you got the beginning of a word, you got the word, you got the ending. I N G. N G is in Golgotha, in the cross. Ion, description, ion is to walk the way, to go. Ion means to go. E R is joint heirs with Christ. So all your suffixes, that's what it is, all your suffix, suffixes point to your spirit walk. All your prefixes are like John the Baptist. There always has to be a, a precog and a postcog, right? And Jesus is the word, right? So you have the prefix you have the actual word and you have the suffix the prefix is like John the Baptist the word is Jesus showing up on the scene and the suffix is what the saints coming after and walking in the spirit hello I bet you never heard that before I bet you never heard that one before I know you haven't because it just got revealed to me. I already knew that it was, I already knew the fractal, but it, it, re, it reveals the church down here is coming after the word. You had John the Baptist, you had the Holy Writ, you had all the prophets and all the, the testimonies and the, the, pre, the precog of the word, Jesus, written down. And you had Jesus show up on the scene. So you had all these prophets of old preaching Jesus that's gonna come show up on the scene. And then you have the word. I'm talking about every word that has a prefix and a postfix. And so, or a suffix. And so you got the word. And then you got the saints, the joint heirs. E-R is heir. I-N-G is in, in, in G, seven. Golgotha is finished. Number G, the letter G is number seven. It's finished. The crescent birthing, right? You never heard that before. Change, it should change your whole world. It should change everything. Every time you speak a word, especially if it has a prefix and a postfix or a suffix, then you're going to have a, a new revelation every time you speak. I'm going. Go is a verb, the rhema word. You got the logos word and the rhema word, right? I am going to the store. I am is Jesus. You're hid in Christ in God. I am going. Go. Action verb. The rhema word. To the store. I am sitting down. Every t every s and the period at the end of the sentence is the blood. And there's a capital letter at the beginning of the sentence. What does that represent? Cap. Captain of the ship. Capital. The captain. Capiche. Now this will spread over the internet, what I just said, eventually. It might, they might take five years to catch on to it, but it's going to spread. And uh, then people will take credit for it and make money off of it. I don't care. 
I'm not making money off this stuff, but as long as the word gets out, that's all that matters. I don't know why every per son is per the sun. I don't know why that doesn't spread yet. I mean, it's almost, it's, I guess it's so obvious so many people would get saved and you'd have to wake up the fact that in him we live and breathe and have our being. Every person is per the sun. The first, Jesus is the firstborn of many brethren. Look, in him were all things. When you look at an animal, it has a head and a body and has legs. When you look at a human, it has a head and a body and legs. So the, ar the spiritual archetype the spiritual archetype is Christ as head of the church. And it has to symbolize, it has to pay attention. The there's a one driver in the car. You don't have two drivers, you got one. The archetype has to be imprinted and written down here in this reality, this matrix. And what is the Ma Trix? The Ma Trix is mankind trying to flip everything to worship God. I mean, instead of worshiping God, they want to worship themselves. That's the, that's the machine tricks, the ma tricks, the matrix. Gets you to worship the creation instead of the creator. So when these agents, agent Smiths are trying to pull you in, right? They're trying to pull you in to their fake reality bubble. And they want, what is the really the end game? To get you to worship yourself, get you to worship some person, get you to worship some creation, get you to worship Mother Mary, get you to worship some false idol or false god instead of the god of abraham isaac and jacob i need to start saying that more we worship the god of abraham isaac and jacob we follow the god of abraham isaac and jacob when you say that it's very clear and the agents can't stand it. They can't stand it. The USA is only here to protect Israel. Period. It's the only reason it exists. The church age, God is using the USA and the gospel to make Israel jealous. Why, if God, you know, let's say you got a rebellious wife and she's running the streets or whatever and you start giving your attention to some other woman she's gonna get jealous she's gonna come back as fast as lightning but if her heart ain't right she's gonna keep doing it you know eventually you're gonna cut it off you're gonna cut her off i don't care if she puts her mama first or daddy or some dude or some friend or whatever whoever she's putting first It's just like Israel or Judah going and worshiping another god, you know. That's true for the man too. If the man's married to a woman and he's giving all his attention to somebody else, he's not he's not doing right, you know. Because that's a type of Christ in the church, right? So God is focused on the church. Yeah, there's many members in the church. And some of the men in the Old Testament had multiple wives, you know, but that wasn't really God's original plan because you see it in Adam and Eve. Don't mean it's right. If it's being done, don't mean it's right. Let's see what happens over here. Love the life you see. Kind of like the love the one you're with, I guess. I don't know. Advertisement for Windows. Everything has deeper meaning. That's the only reason I read stuff like that. Everything has a deeper meaning. See what goes on. I'm gonna go get me some breakfast. Is what I'm doing.